Got some new girls. A royal palm and a red bourbon. Good morning, girls. Hi, Jerry. Just keep walking. Don't be a dick. Good morning, girls. So I got two more turkeys. Uh, run away to the front yard. So I got two more turkeys, hoping that uh, Jerry would calm down because he's been getting aggressive lately. But he kind of got a little more aggressive, it seems like, at times. But we'll see how it goes. Good morning, guys. Had the sun right in the camera. <laughs> so, uh, this video is just going to be continuing on where I left off on the last video. Uh, I was doing the drywall, doing some finishing up stuff in the shop. Uh, it's pretty much going to be, yeah, like right where I left off because I haven't had a chance to get into the shop and do any work um, since I made the last video. But I did make it to Home Depot and they had some siding in stock. So um, I'll be able to get the siding. I got three sheets, so I'll be able to do you know, this basically 12 feet. So on the outside of the shop, I am about six pieces short from finishing the wall entirely. And that was like a priority. And then I guess, cause I couldn't see it, I started working on other stuff. So it's been that way for some time now, months probably. Um, I mean, it has the roof overhang, it has you know, the house wrap on there. So it's not like there's rain coming in or anything like that. Um, but for sure, since I'm getting the drywall up here, I wanna get those pieces put on the outside and then I can also work on getting the fan in up there. So uh, that's what this video is gonna be. It's basically just continuing where I left off and uh, just getting some more stuff done, getting this place closer to being 100% up and running, 90%. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to work. So what I was doing up there was adding in a a nail backer because I didn't put that up prior to doing the drywall. So we ran the drywall past and then just put the nail backer on top of the drywall. So this will have um, tongue and groove in here eventually once I start finishing out the grinder room. So I have my uh, panels here. I'm gonna get ready to put those up. And then I also got some two by six wood that I'm going to use to start building the workbench in here. Um, I think that'll be in this video. I don't know if I want to make a dedicated video to finishing out the grinding room or I'll just keep making videos like I'm making videos. Uh, but before I start on that siding, I'm going to make my little piece that's going to go upstairs in the office. All right, so real quick, I'm going to throw together this little frame. Um, this is basically going to just be a support for the desk that I'm going to put in. So when I actually do uh, put the desk in, splitting the wood. So when I actually do put the desk in, um, it's going to be kind of a wraparound desk. So this is basically just a 12 inch square or 12 inch box and it's 30 and a half inches tall and that's because I want my I want my desktop to sit at 32 inches on the top height which this line here is 32 inches this is 30 and a half so basically my 
countertop or my desktop is going to be an inch and a half thick. And I think I'm going to use the same, either the same butcher block like I did in the um, she shed, or uh, I might get the acacia block, which is the, um, they just sell them kind of pre-made at uh, Home Depot. Probably the acacia block. I don't want my desk to look like a workbench. Even though I guess technically it's a workbench, but. <laughs> right. So this will get set back approximately a half inch because I'm going to put a piece of drywall here. I want it to be flush with this edge. And then this edge is going to get a wooden cap on it, just so it's a nicer transition. Um, just like a, you know, one by five or, you know, whatever the size is, we'll cap this end and then I'll paint it, you know, to match. Everything will just be painted. So, um, yeah, I just got to mark half inch on here and then I'll nail this into the wall and then be done with it. And just like that, done. So this thing is all ready, um, of course it needs to get some mud on there, and I need to go buy some outside corners, the little roundovers. Um, this is the only place in all the drywall I did that has outside corners, <laughs> so gotta go buy a piece of that. But that's pretty much it for the office, or I think what I'll show in this video. Um, I will be sanding and continuing to mud in here, of course. But. Let's move on to the next stuff. Uh, all done. So I have approximately, I want to say three pieces I need, three full sheets, one, two, three, and then I have a, um, a piece that'll fit over the window up there. So another day. So this part's done, so I'm going to go inside now and I'm going to start scoping out what I need to do for the fan. So, I'm going to close my little makeshift gate so the dogs don't get through. <laughs> One of these days I'll actually build a gate there. So, I got my ladder set up inside now, and what I'm going to be doing is in this bay right here, uh, I need to add in a 2x6 there going across and then another one is going to be on the bottom so that it'll box the fan in. Um, and looking at the fan now, I think it might actually need to go on the inside. But either way, I got to get it up there and look at it. And I guess it's just a preference. I think it can mount inside or outside. Um, I don't know. I'll probably have it outside. so. No birds make a nest in that little pocket or whatever. So let me get up there, start checking it out and uh, see how I can get this done. All right, so I have my box framed out. This is on widescreen mode just because you can't see it because I'm so close. Um, so I have my box framed out. I added a two by six on the bottom, two by six on the top. And now I'm getting ready to cut this out with my multi-tool. And then we'll go to the outside and we'll get the fan mounted. 
Yeah. All right, so there we go, hole is cut. Um, I'm going to need to actually widen this just a little bit because the screen on the actual fan blade is just a little past this. So I think I'm gonna take my circular saw and I'm just gonna plunge it in, you know, to widen it about a quarter inch quarter inch to a half inch and then I'll use my multi-tool to cut that piece out do that on both sides and then I should be able to pop the fan in so much sawdust in my eyes I should have worn safety glasses <laughs> okay so uh, this thing is in I don't know if you can see inside anyway where I had to kind of Chop the sides so the grill would fit. But anyway, right now it's flush, mounted. So I gotta go grab some screws so that I can actually mount this. And then this will end up getting trim around it, just like the windows, to finish it out. Whew. I'm gonna go wash my eyeballs out. <laughs> okay, so this is the inside. I'm doing the reverse camera just so I can see it better <laughs> otherwise it's like i'm filming like this so um you can see where i kind of cut out the pockets here on the sides on both sides um, which is just enough for the, the grate to go in so uh this is mounted now um i might go and pull it out <laughs> just so i can paint this because i would like to paint this whole part um, white probably or I'll probably paint it blue the same color as the wall um, but anyway it's in so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start filling in all of these pockets with uh, insulation and then get that last piece of drywall up here and then get this part cut out um, I guess I need to do that before I can actually paint this so um, which means mudding and taping and all that so um, I'm gonna get started on doing the insulation in these pockets and then get this last piece of drywall up. Whew, yeah. All right, so this wall is now done as far as the drywall is concerned. Um, I need to obviously continue mudding. I have the last piece of tape up there. <clears throat> All of the previous mudding that I did needs to be sanded and then possibly a second coat or touched up a little bit. I'm not super concerned with this wall. Um, I mean, if you look, you can kind of see where the seam is here of the first one. I don't really care. I mean, this is a blacksmith shop. Um, this is just going to be the shop wall in my office upstairs. I will pay more attention to the seams and sanding and everything because it's going to be an office. So looks a little, needs to look a little nicer, I guess. Um, and then the same with the grinding room. I'm going to do like a little bit of sanding in there, but I'm not going to spend hours, you know, getting that wall perfect because it doesn't need to be, um, <clears throat> so this is all done off camera. I'm going to finish mudding, sanding, and probably paint this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have to pull that fan out and I'm going to paint the inside of that. Um, so that's what I'll be working on next. I'm going to continue with a bunch of the mud and stuff, sanding, all the boring crap. And then uh, I'll be back when I'm done with that. I just wanted to give a little update on the uh, she shed. So we started doing some uh, decorating. And I guess I can let everyone know this is actually going to be a tattoo studio for my wife. So 
my wife actually has gotten her tattoo license for the state of Hawaii. So that's what this room is actually going to be. <laughs> of course, this is not something she's doing as a main job. It's just something she likes doing. And so it'll be kind of friends, family, you know, she's not going to be just advertising to the general public about tattooing, but, uh, yeah. So working on doing some shelves. So there's going to be shelves over there above the chairs. Um, still going to do shelves on either side here. Uh, I'm still going to be adding a sink here. Um, I started building the drawers. So these are just about built. Um, I still got to finish them out. They have to be painted or, uh, you know, coated so that it matches the rest of the cabinets. But yeah, that's what's happening in here. Okay, so some progress. This wall is entirely painted now. Uh, the fan is reinstalled. Um, I actually picked up some wood today to trim out the windows. Um, but I can't work on it right now because I'm working on some other projects in here. Um, working on some bar tops and some pop-up window trim pieces. So I'm like in the middle of um, coating these, so I don't really want to do anything where I'm cutting, um, you know, creating sawdust or any other dust. Um, I did get the fan plugged in. So you see on the uh, little sensor here which it's not mounted yet, but it's pretty cool because it gives the temperature and it gives the humidity, fan speed, the time, which the time is not right because this has not, um, like it's on the switch for the light. So when I turn on the light, it comes on. Um, but this is a pretty cool fan. Um, you can program it to turn on during, you know, a certain temperature. If it hits a certain temperature, it'll turn on automatically. It has other speeds. So you can I don't know if you hear the fan. Oh, it went down to zero. So I guess nine's the ten is the highest speed. It's actually not too bad. It's not super loud, although on ten it's kinda loud I guess. I usually run it up on about five or six though. But it's a pretty neat fan. I'll put the link in this, the, uh, the description for this fan. I got it on Amazon. Um, and you can actually program two fans. So this other open plug, that's to plug in a second fan if you wanted to. So kind of neat. Uh, this room over here, the grinding room, I think I'm pretty much done with. For now, I got a bit more sanding to do on the seams here and then the seam up here. Um, this one here, I've already painted this wall. So it's been sanded, painted. And basically it's the same color as the wall out there. So I'm also gonna do the same in the office upstairs. So basically the north walls are all gonna be this blue. I really like this blue. It's a nice color. And then just a quick recap of the office, which I don't think I did too much more in the office up here. So yeah, this wall will get sanded, get painted, and then I'll be working on getting the windows trimmed out. Um, I guess I put a little bit of mud on this piece. So that all needs to get sanded still. Um, Anything else that happens up here is probably going to be on its own video for finishing out the office. Same with the grinding room. It's going to be finishing out the grinding room. Will be an upcoming video. Finishing out the office will be an upcoming video. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've been so busy working on these bar tops. Um... I just haven't had any time to work on the shop or anything else. Plus, it was my wife's birthday this week, so we were doing 
several things the last couple days with her for her so hiking and just going around out to eat stuff like that the usual so anyway yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video um yeah and then uh i will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching please subscribe I'm super close to a thousand I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.